welcome to last day, last race day two, female two maiden chase. Believe we should always change for the better. Joshua Sullivan, Old Central Fountain, Ray Gerard, Magic Word, Craig Beckwith, Linda McMahon, Matt Cooper, and Pope Sold Solid Annie. Well, I mentioned sadly in the last race for Martin the Water Project. He might, he likes what he might think. Salads, and you'll be out on a horse. This one's called Pork Salad Honey. So it must be right, he likes a whole lot of salad. And Linda McMahon leads. Change for the better second. Pork Salad Honey. Putting the nose into it. He said, Oh, she's jumping like a lettuce. It's a listress in disguise, is Annie. And it's Linda McMahon in the lead by two to three. I'm sorry if I put a bit of political stance in there. Because uh, Pork Salad Honey jumped like a lettuce at the first fence. Going towards the second. Linda McMahon by two to three from Change for the Better on Pork Salad Honey. Uh, Hell like Central Fountain and Magic Word. I run as then novice maiden three miles two. This is far as they go in novice races. Apart of course from the four mile race at the Chapman Festival. I'll jump that safely. Linda McMahon, two to three limbs clear, Pope Salad Honey. Magic word, change for the better, El Centro Fountain. So five select field them. And uh, you think well, these five trainers, Matt Cooper, Martin Leiden, Joshua Sullivan, Craig Beckwith, Biff, and El Central Fountain, you think it might be Joshua Sullivan and Billy Gerard and uh, Craig Beckwith is the free to concentrate on. Not be dangerous to Martin or Matt Cooper, but these trainers train their horses vigorously as you would say a couple of us just playing and plod along in our games hence we get the old one or two that can really put up to the top boys and Lena McMahon Matt Cooper his Kung Fu leads by a length and a half from Pork Salad Honey, and then Magic Word and Change for the Better. Our Central Fountain is a couple lengths off from him fifth. I jumped the ditch and he jumped out slowly at the back. When he jared horse. When I jumped well was Linda up front, Linda McMahon. By a neck with Pork Salad Honey. I think of Change for the Better, Magic Word and El Central Fountain. One mile, six and a half left to run now. <coughs> and Linda McMahon jumped that one. But being pressed by Pork Salad Annie. You know, I expect maybe these two be meeting each other quite a lot this season. If things pan out as they did last year, because both these trainers are both top hunter chasers. Trainers, a lot of hunters between them. Up for that title last year. I can't remember one of Martin or Matt, I think it was Martin. We had a good start though. No. In that spear, change the better back in third. And yet this won't be long for the kick in. I think next week we have a couple of hunter chases for you. So if you have a low rated chase up and it's finishing towards rear in these trials. It's really a good idea to look at the other chases coming up and maybe just stick your horses in that if you've got a good handicap rating of 100 and then that for the first couple of weeks. Of course, towards the end of the season, week eight, it will go up to 110, so more horses can take part in the other chases. It's a way of uh, getting low handicap horses, a couple of wins, and especially for newbies, it's a good idea if your chaser is struggling and he's got a good weight 
writing or down in the under, down in the 90s or something to maybe look at the under chase and try and get it into a race he could win and that goes out to newbies who might be struggling early in the week week one and week two now uh, this is available for you to compete in at a level Linda McMahon jumps the next fence jumps the right and the one that's dropped off now is Magic Word. I've got three mile tools for Craig Beckwith. Might be some lineage here with that one with its great horse Night Clubber. Perhaps he's not got the same ability as Night Clubber. I don't know. Um, Linda McMahon, pressed by El Central Fountain, who was at the way early on, he's come through with no lead. But only Jess, no, chase, change for the better, it's making ground on the outside. Now, Pokes out on, he looks to be in trouble here, and he's dropped away. And as Linda McMahon also starts to come under pressure, the three trains I've got this might concern are both three have come through the fall. And it's Vinnie Gerard, which is Joseph Sullivan, with Craig Beckwith trying to get on terms back in third. And he's now drawn away from Linda McMahon and Pork Saladani. We'll battle up for the wooden spoon, but El Centra phoned in instantly by a length from Change for the Better in second. A length and a half back to Magic Wood, and they're drawing away up this big stretch hill. And the final race of the day, and they are mistake by Change for the Better. That's allowed El Centra felt in to gain a length, and now he's three lengths to the end towards the last. Then second place, Change for the Better, joined by Magic Wood, they jumped the last. They all jumped it well back towards the El Centra felt in, has jumped well. <laughs> up the line he goes, he's holding on to this lead of three to four lengths from Magic Wood, who's probably just getting the better of the just for train change for the better. Pork Saladani in fourth, and Matt Cooper gets the spoon spoon with Linda McMahon. And that's your final race for day two. That toaster, we'll see you on tomorrow, where we have Galway and a couple of races in America, some big races. El Centro felt him when he Gerard then is the winner. Magic Word Craig Beckwith second and change of the better chance was London in third.